Greetings everybody. It's coming up to that time of the year whether you celebrate it or not. Now for those of you who were recently in the um, the live group that I've been doing, we did a, let me get these together, autumn colours and some of them, some of you might be a little shocked but because I do lots of demonstrations um, I end up with loads of little paintings. Well, what do you do with them all? Um, here's another one, for example. So what I've done is I have cut some up and turned them into Christmas cards. Now, what I've done is taken a theme uh, which runs throughout, and this is some old sheet music that I picked up from a sale somewhere. And I've taken colours to coordinate with the leaves. So you might remember, let's get, there we go, you might remember the one I did. I had, rather foolishly, I put three samples on one sheet, um, too close together. <laughs> so what I did was I've signed that bit, that bit and that bit, cut them up and then I've placed them in an artistic sort of way onto a greeting card. So what I've done is I've found some ribbon that coordinates, some plain cards that coordinate, and the music theme runs through, because music, Christmas, go together. Um, this one, because of the berries, I managed to find some dark black um, sparkly card. Again, the coordinated um, ribbon and found a few words that I've cut out gold star, serene, etc. So that's those three. And then there was also the, um, the seed pod thing. So again, I've done the same thing. You're probably looking at this round here, this dark um, sort of antique effect. It's just a little um, ink pad that you, you rub on the edge. So rather than using what we used to do was smoke from a candle and risk setting fire to your paper, you just smudge around the edge. And this has the double um, satisfaction of making it look old, but it also makes it stand out against the white of the card. So again, signed the bit, Sometimes I've torn it, sometimes I've cut it, and away you go. So that's those there. I'm going to do um, a similar thing with this. And then those, you will remember, we did this winter scene um, week by week. It's a bit bent, excuse me. Week by week. Um, so I'm going to mess about. That is the shape of the card. I've cut a mask, so that's the shape of the card. So. I can sort of fiddle about and think, okay, can I get two sections out of that and thus make three cards? I probably can. And I also found this in my stash. I keep odd pages out of magazines or diaries or whatever. And this just lends itself perfectly with that. So there's the explanation. I will go away and do this and bring it back to you because I'm not going to do it on camera. But it don't don't get too wound up about being precious. I know some of you you're not always happy with your work. It goes with the turf, I'm afraid. But this is a good way of getting some satisfaction and pleasure out of your practice pieces. And believe me, other people who don't get this stuff will be absolutely in awe of what you present as your Christmas card or birthday card or whatever it is. Because remember, these are practice pieces. It's about progress, not perfection. And these pieces are there for you to learn. But if you can give them another life, if you think, well, I don't think that's good enough to frame Nicola and, and what am I going to do with this now? Da, da, da. Here is an alternative way. Um, by the way, little smudges and things, you can always stick a little word or a glittery star on or something. But I will show you, I will go away and get creative with these two pieces and come back 
to you on that. Um, so there you go. I got one, two cards out of that. And I got three out of that. And I think they're fun. I think they're fun. And I think the people who receive them will think they're even more fun. And think I'm very clever, which is always helpful. So I hope to see you all very good soon the one in the next video. Have a good festive season and look forward to some live and interactive classes again with me next year. So here are the two cards I've made out of that um, one, the seed pod that we did. So I've found colour coordinated cards and ribbon and oh they both say love, never mind it doesn't matter does it? So there you are. The reason for the music I should add is that I like to line the envelopes and you use very thin you know pretty thin paper for that and I just picked up this book of music out of um, you know a junk car boot whatever you want to call it here and it's just a great watch you know pages and pages of it that I'm not going to use for anything else so hence the music theme I also just for a bit of fun have um, done a stencil of a snowflake on the back and you can do it on the front as well if you like it just makes the post a little bit more interesting because let's face it we all love an envelope dropping through the letterbox so there's those two um that's an, that's that one done and i'm gonna do the winter scene as well so there we've got two three four five six seven cards out of test pieces effectively i should add that you can use um, a glue stick for the thin paper you might want to consider double-sided tape for the thicker card okay well this last painting took quite a lot of thought now you will remember those of you who did it it was a landscape there is the horizon there was an island in a frozen lake okay so there is the horizon but because we had a lot of reflection and a lot of sky I've had to cut the picture up and stagger it a little bit so I've had to stagger it now I've kept the theme of the music and I've managed to find some dark blue card and I have utilised that lovely piece of paper it was out of a diary or something and utilised that because it's the it's the spiky trees that we were doing so I'm really rather pleased with those now you might think oh god these are all looking the same but remember the people you're giving them to are getting them in isolation I've added some words here because it carries the colour through. It's a question of coordinating your, your colours and getting them all to marry up. Um, now, this is a messy business. It doesn't take five minutes and you'll end up with bits of paper and cuttings everywhere. But it is great fun. And if you are starting to get a lot of sample paintings that you really don't want to keep or whatever this is a good way of using them up and you find that your friends and family will be very appreciative so enjoy that and um, all the best to you hope to see you soon